Hey guys, my name is Connor Sowers from Euro Optic, and today we're going to be talking about the Pulsar Merger XP50s. So guys, these are the new Pulsar XP50 LRF mergers. These are a 640 by 480 resolution, and it has Pulsar's new 25 mil Kelvin sensor in it. So you're gonna be able to get good thermal imaging through unideal conditions such as rain, fog, and snow. These binoculars are at two and a half to 20 with an 1800 meter detection range, as well as a laser range finder that is precise up to a thousand meters and does have a continuous scanning mode as well. Starting at the front of your binocular, we're gonna have these integrated rubber caps, which are just gonna keep the environment out, dust, dirt, and debris, keep your lens nice and clean. As you move up the binocular, you're gonna have this front left focus. This whole tube here is actually responsible for your thermal imaging. That's gonna create the picture, put it on your display for you. As you move over to the right side of the binoculars, this lens is actually responsible for the laser range finding. It's good out to a thousand meters. As we move up this binocular, you're gonna have this Pulsar branded button here. Press that, out pops your APS-5 battery. It does have an internal battery as well. It's gonna give you about 10 hours in the field. Going over these buttons here, you have this blue power button. That's gonna turn your unit on and off as well as put it into a standby mode, uh, which is gonna help save your battery out in the field. These binoculars come with a bino strap. So when you're out in the field and wearing them and you drop them and they're hanging vertically, it's gonna activate the gyroscope, which is gonna put them into a standby mode. And if you set them on a bench, if you're out scouting or anything, they're gonna shut off as well. You move up the binocular, you run into your camera button. This is gonna be responsible for your video and audio recording as well as taking your images. If you just press the button, you're gonna take an image. If you press and hold, it's gonna switch you over to a recording. Um, then you're just gonna click it again. It's gonna start rolling some footage for you. Then press it to end it. Press and hold to go back to your image taking. Moving up, you got this button with a little arrow on it. That's your range finding button. Press and hold, you're gonna get into a continuous scanning mode. Moving over to the left side of the binocular, you're gonna have this button with three lines on it. Uh, one quick press is gonna do things like contrast and brightness. And then if you press and hold, you're gonna go into your advanced settings and be able to change color palette and activate your onboard Wi-Fi. Moving down the binocular, you have these plus and minus that's gonna help navigate through. And then your menu button is your select button. Um, outside of that, these buttons are gonna be responsible for magnification. Only working with the plus, that's gonna start you with your digital mag and then uh, move you two and a half up to 20 and then press it one more time and you'll return to your base magnification at two and a half. Let's talk about these eye cups a little bit. So thermal binoculars do not flex. So how you're gonna adjust these to your eyes is just by simply pressing them, sliding them in and out. Um, as you move up, you're gonna have these focus rings. That's gonna help make your display nice and sharp. And then you also have your built-in eye cups here, which are gonna help block out that ambient light. So as you flip these binoculars over, you have this standard tripod mount. Then you go down, you have this port for charging your internal and external batteries, as well as downloading any videos or images you might take with these out in the field. Keep in mind, these do have built-in Wi-Fi, so you can download Pulsar's Stream Vision app and get your videos and pictures downloaded wirelessly as well. A few more features, these are a magnesium alloy housing as well as IPX7 waterproof rated. So they're gonna last out in the field. They're gonna be durable. You're gonna be able to take them on any hunt, no problem. These binoculars also have a 16 gigabyte internal storage. So you're gonna be able to hold on to plenty of videos and pictures that you take with these. Thanks for checking these out with me today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.